Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. My name's Rick, and I just got a Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. I ordered this from Amazon and it just arrived in the mail, so let's take a look at it. This is the box it came in. You can see a big picture of it there. And a list of all the suggested courses we can do with it from pre-algebra, algebra 1 and 2, geometry, trigonometry, calculus, AP Calc, AP Stats, biology, chemistry, physics, and finance and business. If we flip it over, we see a full breakdown of the functions and a comparison with the TI-84 Plus CE calculator. Looks like they're pretty much the same, except for the menu display with the TI-84 being a pull-down menu and the CG-50 being a icon menu as well as the batteries on the TI-84 being rechargeable batteries and the batteries on the FX CG-50 being AAA. Here we can also see that it does 3D graphing, picture plot, and Python and it includes our quick start guide, protective hard case, four AAA batteries to get us started, and a USB cable. Now, like I said, I ordered this from Amazon and I paid about 90 US for it. So if you have one of these, let me know. Did I get a good deal? I'm not even sure. Uh, what did you pay for it if you have one? We can see the box has suffered a little wear and tear. A tear right there, as well as some staining on the cardboard. Hopefully that's just from the travel and uh, inside still looks good. We'll check it out now. A couple of stickers right here that we need to cut through. So we'll take a knife and slice into there. Pop this open. and pull out the box. All right, dinos, need you to move over here for a sec. Thanks, guys. Okay, here's our box. Looking like we're in a little better shape on the inside, so that's good to know. Pop this open. Oops, tore it a little bit there. We're all good, though. And first, we see we got our quick start guides and our product manual. Those will be good to have. We'll set those aside here. And then we have our USB cable. Looks like it's the uh, older mini USB. So, you know, now things are moving towards a USB-C, but you should still be able to use this. And up here, we've got our batteries, if we can get at them. There we go, four AAA batteries to get us started. And finally, the calculator itself. It's in this plastic bag, and if we just pull this sucker out, We can get this out of here. There we go. Let's take these off. And pop it open. Boom, there we go. There she is, there's our Casio FX CG50. Looking nice and shiny. And if we flip it over and put it in our case to protect it, we see here's our battery compartment. So if we open that up 
and we can put our four AAA batteries in there. All right, there's our batteries in there. We'll pop this sucker back on. And flip our calculator back over. And we see it automatically turns on and we get to choose our language. We see our default is English, but we also have Espanol, Deutsch, Francais, Portuguese, and whatever that is, sorry, I'm not sure, Italian, and back to the start. I'm going to work in English, so I'll select that and press Next. Next, it's asking me about the display settings or the backlight level. Uh, it's pretty good right now, so I'll just hit Next. The auto power off looks like it defaults to 10 minutes. And we can choose between 10 and 60 minutes. 10 is pretty good for me. If we wanted to change it to 60, we could go there. I'm going to stick with 10. Our backlight duration. We have the option for 30 seconds, 1 minute, or 3 minutes. Again, I'm going to stick with 30, so we'll hit next. Our battery settings. I'm pretty sure those were alkaline batteries we put in there, so I'm going to leave it on that. Okay, editing Rick here. I just looked it up and alkaline is your regular AAA batteries and the NI-MH batteries are your rechargeables. So choose accordingly. Select that. And we get a battery capacity detection. It depends on battery type. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go with that. And finish up. And there we go, we're at our main menu and we're ready to rock. I'm excited to work with this calculator. Looks like we got a lot of options here. Check back in the future for more videos on this calculator and the functions on it. Thanks for watching everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there everybody. You've got this.